Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to this video. This video is another studio vlog and I'm going to show you what I've created this month. So the month of March 2021. I have a new painting collection available on my Etsy shop. If you are interested in supporting me, supporting my channel and if you enjoy what I create. So please go check it out. You have the link in the description box. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to share with you the process of making them, my thoughts on them and also share some tips with you. So I hope you like that and let me know if you have some video ideas that you want me to do for more art related videos. I don't know what to do at the moment so I love studio vlogs so that's why I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing them but yeah let me know if you have any questions I can do a video to answer you please let me know <laughs> I kind of took a break like in March from my videos um, because I actually need a bit of rest I wanted to find new ideas and think about what I want to create and yeah get a new perspective so that's what I did and that's why you haven't seen a lot of videos lately so that's also why I'm asking you if you have ideas for me because I'm really in that process of thinking about new videos so that would be helpful to have your thoughts on that and also it's been a year since I've started this creative journey here on this channel so I think that's also why I needed to rethink about it and also know exactly where I want to go to, like head to. Yeah, that's where I was. <laughs> Please like, subscribe to keep watching my videos. Turn on the notifications to be updated when I post a new video. Thank you and keep on watching. As usual, you can see me packing my orders here i'm packing some bookmarks so you can see the process here it's usually the same i sometimes just change the colors that i'm using but yeah it's pretty much what i'm doing every time for bookmarks i also have now new stamps that i've shown you in my previous video and i'm usually using them on my envelopes and also my boxes when it's a bigger order you can see the result I think it's very very cute and I love how they show up on the paper there are no issue custom stamps if you are interested and then I'm prepping the envelopes to be shipped and that's pretty much it for this type of order I've also decided to work on a new design that I'm going to be using for different paintings and maybe bookmarks or stickers, I don't know yet, but for paintings for sure, you're going to see that in this vlog. And I've done that on the iPad to have something very clean to be able to use it multiple times. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm using the app Procreate. Then I'm going to print it on a transparent paper. I think it's called tracing paper in English. And I've actually backed it up with a white paper to be able to, to print it out on the tracing paper. And that works really well and that allows you to be able to use the same design, the same shapes multiple times. And I'm gonna use them for paintings mostly here. I don't really do that often but sometimes it's cool for me to do this because that helps me to have more accurate shapes. I think because I have aphantasia 
it's kind of hard for me to get like very accurate shapes and very realistic paintings i can't really visualize before painting so this technique helps me to get more realistic and curate shapes i still don't do very realistic paintings because i like to play with colors and create my own style but that could help you to get something more realistic if you want to so i use graphite pencil on one side and then the other side to transfer the design Then I'm starting painting, so I'm gonna use some gouache for this painting. So I have to tell you <laughs> already that I'm not gonna keep this painting. I've decided to erase it and start it over because I didn't like the colors and then I tried some crazy st stuff, crazy things on it, which is so sad because as you can see here, it looks pretty good, but then I don't know what I what I wanted to do, but yeah. It went wrong <laughs> so I'll be doing another version of it a little bit later in this video if you want to see that but yeah for now I'm doing what I thought would look good but didn't <laughs> I've also started another smaller painting that again wasn't good I don't know I think I wasn't very clear about my vision even though I can visualize but you know I don't exactly know what I wanted to do so that's why it didn't work for me I think let me know if you like to plan in advance or at least know exactly where you want to go before painting or do you expect experiment all along I tried to do kind of both but I still do need to have a vision pretty clear vision but not knowing exactly the steps or changing things last minute things like that but I still need a little bit of a vision <laughs> but still experiment because that's fun and that's also what I love about painting it's very freeing and you can also express yourself visually using colors, different shapes, playing and it's also very relaxing. Let me know if you like painting, why do you like painting? I would love to know. Here I'm sketching and prepping another painting, a bigger one, using kind of the same design but adding some leaves and trying to mix things up a little bit. Let me know what you think of this sketch and for this one I decided to try something a little bit different and use watercolor actually watercolor pencils that's what I'm using here so I start using the color on the canvas and I was surprised it actually works pretty well you just have to apply the color and then use water on it I don't know if that works on all canvases that's my first time doing that on canvas and yeah I was surprised that works I was expecting to use then gouache or I don't know do something else but it's pretty fun and easy and cool to do I think I'm using a water refillable brush and that was fine. I've done the leaves and then I'm doing the roses. I try to do both, like sometimes I apply the color first and sometimes I apply water first. So it's interesting to try both if you haven't tried these techniques before. I do love using watercolor pencils. I think the result is very smooth, very natural looking also so i don't know I, I think it's really cool and i love using that sometimes then for the background i've decided to use some silver acrylic paint you won't be able to see, to see it very well here but i'm going to show you the next day and i've had to do multiple coats 
to get something even and i think that is very interesting i love using sometimes gold and silver because that add a very interesting touch also i think for this painting it looks like i'm painting on a mirror you're gonna see that better later i've also painted these two mini paintings using the same techniques with watercolor pencils and i'm gonna finish them next for the bigger painting here i'm finishing the background with silver acrylic paint it's almost like the background is a mirror and the roses are in front of the mirror or painted on the mirror i think that's an interesting idea and i would love to know what you think of this I'm adding a bit more red, more intense intensity to the painting and trying to get a bit more shadows because it was a bit too flat before I think and also add more light and you know finish it, add more details and it's almost done. <laughs> Let me know what you think of this painting. I would love to have your thoughts on it. It's also now available on my shop if you are interested. Here I'm finishing the other two minis. I wanted to add a background and here a black background for, the, for this one. I'm using some black gesso to have something very dark, very black and very even. I actually really like it in black and white so that gave me new ideas for other paintings using the same designs so I'm gonna do that too and for the other one I decided to go for a pink background is the final result let me know what you think of it and then i'm gonna add colors add some reds on this one I love painting red roses and I think they look very very cute on a black background so that's what I've done here let me know what you think of that and then I decided to paint some fruits I love painting fruits and weirdly it's pretty easy for me I don't know why but it is and I enjoy doing that I don't do it often but I definitely should do it more often I think because it's really fun easy and I love the colors fruits are usually bright colors and I love using bright colors so maybe that's also why here I'm painting a mango I love mangoes they are my favorite fruits and it's my first time painting a mango and I think it looks pretty good let me know what you think and I also decided to paint some plates with fruits and that's something I want to experiment a bit more with I really enjoy painting that it was a mini painting so there are not a lot of details but I still love how it turned out and you can still see the fruits very well and I also love the shadows that I added on them. I really enjoyed making these paintings and you know what you think of them. As I wanted to create a set of four mini paintings, I've decided to create another one with roses because 
then you have two paintings of fruits and two paintings of roses so that's what I'm doing here I wanted to use lighter colors and have something a bit more soft and something different but still with the same pinks and yeah you know something a little bit dreamy This set of paintings is also available on my shop and I would love to know what you think of them. I also had the idea of making black and white paintings with these designs. So I've decided to do some minimal, minimalist, minimalistic, I don't know, <laughs> paintings and do them on black and white paper. So black on white paper and white on black paper for the two designs i'm using acrylics and use different brushes but i think it's better with a not too big not too skinny <laughs> brush and i had to go back on them because i wanted something very even so do multiple coats and I really really love the results so I've used some textured white paper the black paper is not textured unfortunately I would love to have a black textured paper but at least the white one is textured and I think that looks very very cute on it and yeah let me know which design you like the most and also if you prefer the designs on white or black paper I'm also gonna be selling them in sets of two because I think they look very cute together you'll see at the end but if you have a white one and a black one together I think they look very good together so here are the paintings and here is the on black paper version of them and yeah really really love them too It was a bit more difficult and it took more time for me to get something very even on black paper but I really love the result and I think they look very cute together black and white and I would love to know what you think of them they are also available on my shop thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support please like subscribe go check out my shop and I hope to see you soon in my next video bye